Hey guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy. Now I got a lot of questions and answers, and you know, asking me, you know, what mods do I use in my Skyrim uh, role plays or playthroughs and stuff like that. So here we are. This is my Nexus mod manager, and uh, pretty much everything you see in here that has a green check mark next to it is currently in my game. Um, so we have the I have everything open, so you can actually see it. Blackthorn, Biddable Town. Uh, sorry, I have a small cold. <sighs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, don't attack me, werewolf edition, so you don't get attacked while you're in your werewolf form. Run for your lives. This is so, you know, NPCs don't try and fight dragons. Um, symbol knockout. This just pretty much, if someone was supposed to die, they get knocked out instead. I think I actually have this turned off. I don't know why it's still clicked as uh, alt activated. Alternate start. This just makes it so that way your beginning of the game will make it so you can choose your lifestyle instead of having to go through the basic, you know, Helgen way. Uh, public executions. I haven't actually showed this off in stream yet or any of the gameplays, but it's uh, pretty cool. You can actually get people to be executed in uh, Riften. Not Riften. Um, Solitude. Um, Civil War cleanup. This just cleans up everything after the Civil War. Unlimited enchantments. You can put as many enchantments as you want on your thing. Uh, on your weaponry. Skeleton key is a key uh, which means you can actually open up anything with it. So when you get the skeleton key it doesn't just act as a pick lock, it actually acts as a key. Change follower outfits, pretty self-explanatory. You don't need this anymore. I just have this in just to have it. Um, Skuma Drug Lord, it's kinda like a Breaking Bad mod. Let's see the Thieves Guild. I don't know if this still work, if this works or not, because I haven't really started the Thieves Guild yet. But we'll see. Shadow of Marisus. I haven't shown this off yet. It's a pretty cool mod, though, from what I've read. Um, this doesn't work. Uh, Dawn Guard and uh, and Clan Volkir epilogues. I don't remember if this. I think this is so that way you can get all the. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Depending on which side you choose, you can get the artifacts of the other side. Zim's immersive artifacts. This gives different NPCs like their own special items royal armory um, so it's I can go through and explain every single one to you but you guys can look it up if you see something you actually like um, I mean there there's a lot of cool mods that I've downloaded over the time a lot of them may not still be up because I know there was a follower mod that I had that is not up anymore and it was like a she was like a Huga Uchiha combo I don't remember what her name is but uh um, she's been taken down. I don't have permission to put that back up, so I'm not going to. Sorry. Um, oh, this right here, the Infernal Vampire Lord Replacer. This is where the Vampire Lords look all epic um, from my uh, Bleach playthrough, which is... I, I think they did a really good job on it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just trying to go through, like, slow and fast at the same time because I don't want this to be, like, a 10-hour video. Um... Some of these mods, like Starburst, Sword Explosion, Excalibur, I got from a YouTube video. Um, if you look them up on YouTube, you'll be able to po probably find the guy who makes them. They're pretty. He does some really cool stuff. I don't know if he does them anymore. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, Dragon Piece Crest Markers. Um, thank you, Video Drive. Appreciate that. And uh, you're gonna need this for most mods, anyways. The Calante's Beautiful Bodies Edition. But when you download mods, it'll tell you what you need. Um, Total Bleach Conversion Update, uh, Inuyasha Weapons, scroll down a little more, just keep on going on through, this just makes your guy like lean backwards, I mean th there's a lot of mods that I have, as you can see, I mean I have, I think it's like my mod folder has over 200, um, I have 352 total mods and 285 active mods, so when my game crashes and I say like, oh, I can't do Skyrim this week because something's going wrong, it's not because I'm just being lazy. It's being for real because usually things break and I have to figure out what mod's breaking in and remove that mod and it's it's stupid. So just going through and letting you do your own thing. You don't even have to listen to me. You can mute me. Wait till I scroll down, man. You, you just do you. I really don't care. Um, but you guys asked for all the mods and everything like that. So here you are. Read them on through. And then... Uh, I can uh, I can go on with my life, knowing that uh, I I gave you guys my mod list. Um, this is my favorite one right here. The Become the High King of Skyrim. This you're gonna want this mod. No matter what, you're gonna want that mod. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other big mods. Of course, Naruto Overhaul. <laughs> mm, 
Sky UI is a big one. That's like, you need that for almost every mod, almost. And, um... I think all of these, if they're grayed out, it means they're out of date. So, I wouldn't even really worry about them. But, hey, you're more than welcome. And Tears of the Abyss, that's a weapon. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That's all the mods that I use for my Skyrim anything. Role plays, anything like that. I'm, obviously, there's more to come, but uh, I don't have them yet. So, uh, but guys, I hope you all enjoyed the mod list. hope it helps you guys out. And I'm going to check you guys later. I'm going to go and, uh, you know, I'm going to go uh, eat something because I'm hungry. And, uh, yeah, I'll check you guys later. Peace.